Hey, it's time for the Big Dog Post Game Show, but this one is on the basketball game today against St. Louis Pelicans. Billikens, I'm sorry. Uh, just an incredible performance by the University of Maryland basketball team. I did not see this coming. I thought that they were going to have a ton of trouble with this team today, and they just schooled them. This was not like the the three prior opponents. This was a team that is projected to be a NCAA tournament team, a top 25 team. And if you heard the announcers before the game, they kind of said that this was going to be a St. Louis game led by Yuri Collins, their great point guard. And this is what happened today. Yuri Collins probably had one of the worst games he's had in St. Louis. Three for 11 from the field. He was discombobulated, pressured, uh, had the ball stripped from him. He did have six for six from the foul line, only two rebounds, three rebounds, uh, six assists, which is good for an average player, but this guy usually gets 10 or 12, all right? And only one steal, only 12 points, and he's the key reason that this game was such a uh, dominant game. Jameer Young guarded him. Ian Martinez guarded him like a, like, oh, wow, he was on top of him. And the shocker today for me was the coming out party as a Terp for Donald Carey. All right. Donald Carey, four threes, four foul shots. All right. A total of 16 points, five rebounds, six rebounds, and two assists. He hadn't played like that in the other three games almost combined. But Willard said he could shoot. He's got my permission. I want him to shoot. He plays so hard. He could take the shot when he wants. And the one thing, all the texts I got, every, all my friends who texted, everybody who listens said to me, they haven't seen a Maryland team play this hard in a long, long time. Hi, I'm Maryland wide receiver Rakim Jarrett. If you've been hurt in a car crash, People will tell you you need a lawyer. My mom says you need my lawyer, the Jack Litch Law Group. At 855-BIG-DOG-1. Don't just get a lawyer. Get, get the, the lawyers. lawyers. If you're hurt, listen to my mom and bite back with the big dogs. And that's why they won like they did. And, you know, I remembered when Maryland played Seton Hall, Kevin Ward's teams, Seton Hall dominated us by outplaying us, out toughing us, and it happened again today. Uh, all I can say is this was a great day for Maryland basketball. You know, with this gauntlet they have of about seven or eight games, including Illinois, who beat UCLA, all right, and Tennessee, and uh, it, it goes on tomorrow, Miami from the ACC, Louisville on the road. This is, Maryland hasn't had a schedule like this in a long time. In this seven-game period, I thought to myself, well, if they go three and four, that'll be really good. This is a brand-new team. These guys never played together. Oh, stop everything. This team is much better than I thought. Once again, this is the Big Dog post-game show brought to you by the Jack Litch Law Firm. 301-627-8700. Rick, tremendous supporter of Maryland and a supporter of our of our videos. So we thank Rick for that. Uh, Dante Scott. How could I go all this time and not talk about Dante Scott? 26 minutes, 25 points, 8 for 13 from the field, 2-3, 7 for 7 from the foul line. Only had three bounds, but played much tougher than that. I only had five rebounds. That's that's enough. Donald Carey had six rebounds. Oh, my Lord. Hakeem Hart, six for 10, 16 points. Uh, Jameer Young was four for 12, still played well. His defense on uh, Yuri Collins was great. And they, you know, they had the coach of St. Louis, Tra Travis Ford, talking to himself. He made a really jerk of himself at halftime. They're down by 24, and he attacked the referee like he just cost him the game over one, maybe a missed call. I, I didn't think it was a foul, but maybe, let's say it was one missed call, and he went nuts on it, gave us two technicals, and 
Let me tell you, you start the half, you're up at 24, and somebody said, hey, here's two more points for you. You know, they made a little bit of a run, and I mean a little bit. But, uh, wow, they got a lot of work to do. I, be I bet they come out real on fire tomorrow against Providence. Going down the list, Julius Reese, if I'd have told you he'd only score four points and Maryland would win by 28, you'd say, oh, Bruce, there's no way. Well, that's what happened. He only scored four points. Only took three shots, but he played a good, strong game. Ian Martinez, listen to this line, 17 minutes. Six for eight from the field. All right, two for four from the three-point line. Four rebounds, two assists, one assist, and one steal. This kid's playing great. What a six-man. All right, first I thought, well, maybe Carey should be the six-man to come in. No. Carey should start. Ian Martinez should be a six man. He could spell young or he could spell uh, Carey strictly with his intensity. All right. And you could also bring in Ike Cornish, who didn't see much time today. Patrick Emelian. That's another sleeper. Now, the other day, Emelian like, scored one point and, and the coach was singing his praises and he's playing great he had no rebounds at one point well today he had seven rebounds and no points but he's tough and when he comes in for julius reese he julian reese he brings a toughness with him that i think is superb so that's the bottom line terps win 95 to 67 and uh yeah i am in a good mood over basketball because it's a long season and i love the team and uh, you know, we can get to the dance. We can, you know, I, I didn't think we were going to be able to, but watching this performance, if you could put Maryland as the 10th, the 10th best team in the Big Ten right now, I'd be surprised. I want to see what happens tomorrow against Miami. Look, they could throw a stinker up tomorrow because I don't know how they could play this well again, to tell you the truth. This was one of the best performances of a Maryland basketball team I've seen. This is not an easy team that they beat. All right. Remember what I said. Follow the St. Louis Billikens. Remember what I said. This guy, Gibson Jimerson, all right, had a bad shooting day, but he's not a bad shooter. And uh, Javante, was it Javante Perkins? was 6 for 12 from the field. This team, and Uri Collins had a bad day, but they were harassed by Maryland's defense. They were You could tell their game was out of sync. I loved it. Loved every second of it. Well done, Kevin Willard. And you deserve the chance of Kevin Willard from the Maryland crowd that was there. All right? And I'm sure made that quick drive up from New York to, uh, was it Milhegan's son? Yeah, the Milhegan's son casino. So we'll see what happens tomorrow, 1 o'clock against Miami. I'll be at the Ravens game with my little telephone watching the game on TV, following the Ravens. So it's a big day tomorrow. I'm looking forward to it. We'll be on tomorrow night with the postgame show from that game. So tough loss for the Terps today. I'm sure you saw our postgame show from that. But uh, that will do it for tonight. Final score, Maryland 95, St. Louis 67. And remember, it's the Big Dog Post Game Show, 301-627-8700. Have a great night, everybody.